DJ Lady S here. I want to show you my craft tote that I went to go purchase at Sears on Sunday. Um, if you watch some of my previous videos, I was telling you there are some ladies here on YouTube that are using the Craftman's tote, Tool Tote, and they have them in different colors, pink, green, platinum, um, oh, blue, and other colors, and surprisingly, they're only $13. The Sears by me, they're closing that particular location, which I did not know this when I pulled up on Sunday, and they have this, you know, closing store sale going on. So I went in, everything is like upstairs, you go downstairs to the tool section, and everything is like picked over. Everything is just like down to nothing downstairs for the tools and things like that. Only thing they have is just a few, few, tool, a few tools and patio furniture. But they had this, this tote there. And so I said, okay, I'll go ahead and get this. I really didn't want the green, but that's okay. So this is an update of what I've put inside of my tote so far. As you can see, this is the Craftman Evolve. The difference between this one and the tool tote, this one actually came with like a 24-piece set of tools, which I'll probably incorporate later into my craft room. But I wanted to show you how so far I have... Um, set this up which it's a work in progress but I'm just kind of getting a feel for it and everything so this pocket right here is like a double sized pocket with a velcro closure and right now I have my um, oh what do you call this banner tape stored in here for now there's a gusset pocket here gusset pocket here which right now I just currently have a few um, Hello Kitty sticker or stamps there then on this side, the, it has two pockets here, two gusset pockets. It does have a longer strap if you wanted to um, carry it, but uh, actually this is just a little too heavy for me to carry right now, so I probably will just take that off and put it away somewhere. On the back side, you have a Velcro pocket here and three gusset pockets here. And one pocket, so far I have some Hello Kitty note cards there with matching envelopes. And then when you turn it around, I just want to take this handle off where I can wait till later. And on this end, there's just one big pocket right here. Now, this right here is where you would normally hook your tape measure, which actually came in the little toolkit with this. But I'll figure out something like maybe hang some washi tape or something like that from there. And so we'll bring it back around to the front. The, the thing that I really love about this particular tote compared to the uh, craft, Craftman's tool tote that other ladies are getting is that from this side to this side, they have a stationary bar that you can't move. And so it stays right there. So to me, that would get in the way of you getting to your items inside of your craft tote. So I really love these two little handles right here. And this Velcro's to opens up to where you could just make it one handle. So they do kind of fall out of the way in the way but I rather have that than to have that stationary bar going across okay so far what I have inside of here let me tip it over so you can see because there are three compartments that you have you have a compartment here a compartment here and a compartment back here okay so I'll show you what I have in here so far now this container here I purchased at the uh, Daiso store and it's, you know, the uh, kind of like the, the photo storage that the four by six photo storage that you get from, Wal or, you know, Walmart, Staples and all that. Well, this has three separate compartments. And so far I have my colored pencils here and I have a sticky notepad here. And I just put a Hello Kitty sticker on here. So can you imagine how much this would have cost just by having the Hello Kitty on there? So I put that on there myself. I also have an ARC personal size journal there's nothing inside of it so far um, I put my brown uh, paper mate pen in here and so I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that just yet and then here is another photo storage container this one I actually did purchase from Staples for two dollars uh, the one from the Daiso store was a dollar fifty I just stuck another Hello Kitty sticker here and I've put some washi tape I've put some of the uh, Daiso uh, memo and point marker stickers in here uh, that I, I showed you in one of my other uh, hauls and then a pair of scissors so that's what I have in this one so far now I want to show you what is really another great feature about this depend upon how you set up your tote 
on the inside, and I'm, I'm hoping you can see, I'm going to have to put it all the way down. Maybe you won't be able to see it. But inside right there, there are some pockets right here on the inside. So depending on how you set up your tote, if I just wanted a bunch of pins right here, that would be a great section for that. But I'm not going to use those pockets. I like what I have set up in there so far. So in my middle section, I have my pink Sherry Michi. I also have my Hello Kitty uh, envelope, which inside of this, I have a, a lot of various stickers and things that I've decided to store inside of there because it's nice and flat and, and this can hold a lot of items because it does have a gusset bottom, okay? And then I have my Hello Kitty travel planner where I just fill this out when we go somewhere. Like we went to, you know, I worked at the birthday bash. We went to the Newport Jazz Festival. We went to Las Vegas for my birthday. So that's what this journal is all about. All about. This journal will only, it's called my trip journal. So that's what, that, what I did in that one. And then it also has my dining out a journal and so I filled out everything that we did for my birthday breakfast lunch and dinner so that's in the center uh, portion of the um, craft tote here and then on the back side let me flip it around either way is the front side it doesn't matter if it's front or back I so far I just put the Hello Kitty stickers there and then I have this Hello Kitty memo pad which I'm going to put make a booklet to for that to fit in and then here's just another one of those photo cases and I just stuck another Hello Kitty sticker on there and then this just has all my different gel pens and my multicolor pen and my adjustable eraser mechanical pencils inside this pencil case of Hello Kitty which I also have stored in there what I decided to put in here is my smash book pen and glue for when I want to uh, glue anything down inside my Sherry Nietzsche or any of my journals I have another one of the adjustable erasers remember these when we were in, in school and then I have another backup pencil Hello Kitty mechanical pencil and then I just have the three different um, Hello Kitty decorative tapes that uh, I purchased not too long ago at Staples so that fits perfectly in there and I really like this. This is a nice hard case. And so, it, you know, it could take a beating and I don't have to worry about it. So I like that. And then I have one more photo case. Again, I just put another Hello Kitty sticker. This is the one I purchased from the Daiso store. And I have some washi tape in here, some more backup gel pens, and another memo pad there. And so this houses everything, in my opinion, very, very nicely and neatly. And to me, I don't feel like I have a lot of items in here, but this sucker is heavy. I take it downstairs and start journaling and, and putting things into my hobo neat, uh, my Sherry Nietzsche. And I'm sitting here and I'm going, this thing is heavy. I, I, don't, I can't tell you how many pounds it weighs, but I'm telling you, I'm going to get some muscles carrying this thing. So... So that's what I've done so far with my Evolve, and believe me, I'm going to change it up as time goes on and as I purchase more things. So it's not going to stay this way, but for so, so far right now, I like what it does for me. So this is my Craftman Evolve. This is my version of the Craftman Tool Tote that everyone else is purchasing out there in in our our planner craft world one more thing i wanted to show you in my other video just the other day remember i told you i purchased this little trash can from the daiso store for a dollar fifty i remember i told you i was going to put my hello kitty stickers on here well that's what i did i just put my hello kitty stickers on there and so let's see if I can get this to there. Oops, there we go. It says Hello Kitty. I put all those stickers on there myself. And can you imagine if I purchased this trash can with the stickers already on there? I know, right? So there you have it, ladies. I just wanted to give you an update on my Craftman Evolve craft tote. Thank you so much, ladies. Leave me a comment down below and stay tuned. I have more videos coming up for you. And as always, I want you to be blessed. Bye bye now.